Hey everybody, Kale Nomad here. Um, doing a little front tire change, so want to talk about some things. I did a weekend last weekend. I went moto camping um, up in Pisgah National Forest and talked about uh, changing tires and tires wearing out and that sort of thing, and did this whole thing about what tire I was going to next. Uh, just so indecisive on it. Um, what I've decided to do is change my front tire for now. I had the D Tusk D Sports, you'll remember, on here. I've had them for just over 3,000 miles. And a majority of that, unfortunately, just due to where I live, is pavement. So they've been wearing okay, especially the rear. So let me show you that. Um, so right here on the rear, you can see I still have about a finger's depth of tread left so for doing uh, hard packed dirt and of course uh, street commuting and whatnot that's okay for probably another 500 plus miles um, so I'm gonna go ahead and run that out and uh, get a total mileage on that tire now the problem has been the front the front has worn in such an odd way maybe it's not odd to you if you're more experienced at these bikes than I am but Right here, you can see the angle that these have created, these little triangles, um, with especially the metal, but even the next row out. And that makes them noisy as hell. So uh, even with my music on and turned up, I can still hear these things buzzing. It's very annoying. What's even worse is it feels unsafe. So. When I'm tipping into a corner, it it has a very, you know, one minute you're, you're fine right here, but then it, it goes here and then back up here, so you kind of weave your way through the turn. Uh, very disconcerting. So it didn't do that before, it's doing it now. I'm blaming this. And of course I've checked tire pressures and all that and everything's good to go. So it's just, that's the only variable in the equation. Now, what I had talked about in the uh, moto camping video was I decided since I ride mostly asphalt and then a lot of gravel and hard pack and just like surface mud not deep mud I was gonna try something that's been getting a lot of reviews online and that's the Dunlop Trail Max Mission tires um, in this video I'll kinda insert a picture of that uh, here so a lot of the complaints on it is it sucks in sand, it sucks in deep gravel, and it sucks in deep mud. I was thinking, you know what, since I ride mostly asphalt, it'll probably be nice to be more comfortable and quieter, and um, I can do the two-lane blacktop twisties with more um, authority. But then I thought about what's it like. I remember when I had the factory tires on this, and you get into three, four, six inches of mud, with a tire that just won't grip and it's horrible and then you're slipping and sliding the bike's slipping and sliding it, it's just not good um, I, I'm having a hard time with going to a more street tire or more of a 50-50 tire so I've decided for now to put off that final decision and what I want is what could I get right now to go ahead and replace these because these have shown to be exactly what the negative reviewers say in all of the um, stuff online um, so I don't like these fronts the Tusty Sport fronts I don't really care for when they're brand new well when they're scuffed in they're pretty good but then they wear weirdly quickly so it's unusual to me for a front tire to wear out before a rear tire maybe I'm wrong I don't know comment and let me know so what I did find in the local cycle gear, just down the street, was, let me get this straight for you, the D606 by Dunlop, okay? You can see it's a very similar tread pattern to the Tusk D Sport. It seems to have better reviews. So I'm going to, one, it was the only tire in two counties readily available 
and two, it's knobby to match the rear. So I'm going to throw this on real quick and um, see how I like it while I continue to wear out the rears. Now, if I like it, I'd stick with my decision to stay with more of a 90-10 tire, 90% uh, off-road, 10% on, um, even though my riding style is not that, but it's nice to have this when you need it. You know, it's, it's um, better to have and not need than to need and not have, I guess, falls under that category. Um, I hate how I say um all the time, I apologize. I'm going to go ahead and do this, see how I like it in comparison to this Tusty Sport. See if there's any difference really at all. Sorry about that. I forgot to silence my phone. Um, and then when I wear out my rear completely, I'll make that final decision. Do I order another Tusty Sport rear, which I, I do like it, and especially the price point. So here we go. <laughs> $75 to take the wheel off the bike, swap out the tire and tube. And I just did that in, I don't know, 45 minutes while talking to the camera. Entertaining you guys, all the KLR Nomad fans and subscribers. Who I appreciate, by the way, I really do. Um, it's cool every time I see a notification, you know, so-and-so subscribe, so-and-so new subscriber. Um, that's cool. You know, it just brings the, the KLR, the Moto Camping Adventure Bike, Dual Sport group together. Um, no one person has all the answers or all the fun, but together, I think it's really cool what I learn from everybody, and hopefully I can pass on something that somebody didn't think of. Or just be entertaining, you know, maybe you're stuck in, in an area of the country that's different and you can't enjoy these beautiful uh, Appalachian Mountains, and the Blue Ridge, the Smokies, all that. Uh, it's gorgeous here. It's been a really rainy year, unfortunately. I told somebody the other day if I didn't moto camp in the rain, I wouldn't moto camp at all. Um, all of, it's pouring down really hard this weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. I have three days off. I was going to go do something really cool. Um, but Mother Nature says, no, we hate you. We're only going to be sunny during the week. Um, eventually it won't matter because I'll be out in the rain and the sun no matter what day it is. That's the uh, end goal, end game. Kale or Nomad, by name and action. So, anyway, that's that. And, uh... We'll see. If any of you guys have had the Tromax emissions um, on the KLR, or any bike really of similar weight, and you like to ride um, off-road, single track, you know, all that OHB parks, all that stuff, uh, let me know what you think, because I just can't wrap my head around going to a true 50-50 tire, because I know when it counts, when you're out there, especially with me, sometimes I'm by myself, a lot of time I'm by myself. Now I get stuck in the mud if the tire just won't grip. I'm going to be screwed. So, I'm, I'm just sticking to the 9010s, I think, if you want to call it that. The knobbies. The DOT knobbies for now. Alright, All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. KLR Nomads, the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let's chat it up. Uh, tell me your tire stories. Put them in there for everybody. That's cool. Alright, guys. Catch you later. Thank you so much for being here.